Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review about the famous Harry Potter series. So I have read it about two times, like the whole series. So I want to share the review about this series. Well, this is a fiction uh, series. It has seven books. It's about magic. And this book is about um, the boy named Harry Potter and his adventures in the magical world which the author of the book, J.K. Rowling, calls it the Wizarding World. So this story takes place in UK. So I think the date is, the story starts in 1981. So let's start with the first book. I'll just give you line by line. So the first book is a good um, starting for a big series. So it was not much, it's just the introduction for, um, he traveled Harry and um, start to learn more about the Harry Potter universe. So um, if you're starting this book and you're adventuring with Harry and you get to know a little bit about the magical world, still Harry doesn't know um, fully about the magical world. So he know his back, he learns his backstory and what's going to happen and what's the magical world facing now. And he goes to a school named Hogwarts. So this place is where the whole main series takes place. And it's like the school for, you know, small children who have magic powers like Harry. J.K. Rowling is setting this book for you to know about the magical world was coming up in the next six books. Next, I'm going to talk about the second book. It's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It is where you get to know about the dark side of the magical world. And this book is where things get a little spicy and interesting. Like, there's so much suspicion, mysteries, and Harry and his friends, like, amazing. They, like, go through the ch- oh, it's spoiler, guys. So, it's a very nice book. Um, there's humor. That's the reason I love this book. It has dark humor. Even in the darkest of the times, there's humor. So, that's a very good thing. And if you read this book, each time you get like uh, heartbeats. You can hear your heartbeats. It's so nerve-wracking. And I think it's a pretty good book. It develops the Harry's character development and relationships with his friends. Um, we get to know more character development to all the characters. And we also get to know about new characters like Gilderoy Lockhart and oh there's a spoiler i'm not gonna say that uh pretty much that's it because it's a little bit small book and at the back side you have the dobby the house elf if you read you'll understand i think next we're going to talk about the third book harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban so this book is amazing like the favorite part is the quidditch world cup that's my favorite part and you get to know more um about the magical world each book you get to know more and more about this magical world and you get to know characters like lupin peter pettigrew and uh, sirius black and you need to get to know about azkaban the magical world's prison so you also get to know about the Dementors who are guarding that prison. And Hogwarts has turned into a dark side even more than the second book. So you get um, Harry to know more about uh, magic, like the signature Expecto Patronus charm, which he learns in this book. And I think I like this book pretty much. So you get to know about the night bus, this book where you're introduced to more magical creatures and monsters yeah in the first two books there were things like that but in this you get to know more like the 
werewolves. Anime Gus, where you turn into an animal whenever you wish for it. So let's get into the next book. The next book is The Goblet of Fire. And this is my least liked book. So this is the most, um, you know, this book is the most of all the books where you don't get into the plot. Like, only in the final battle, like, you get into the plot, like, Harry versus Voldemort. Voldemort is the main villain, antagonist of the series. So, there it's a, the, this tri tournament. I don't know why. It, this feels like a filler to me. You get to know more about new characters, but they're not cool. I don't like them. And there's some death, and I really hate them. This is the worst book, and I don't like Harry's attitude in this book. Well, um, I'm not just blaming this book. This book has some of the best dialogues and twists, but it seemed a little bit as a filler more than a book. So, uh, this may feel like the most interesting book, or like the cover. Yes, you get to see dragons in the Actually, if I think about it, the Triwizard Tournament is pretty good, but not that interesting. At the back, you get Harry Potter and his friends. <laughs> okay, that's it about this book. I can't say anything else. Not much to see. But there are so many mysteries. I think this book has the most mysteries. Wait a minute. This has a total of eight mysteries, and when the final, when all the mystery unveil, it's like, mm. but uh, for the most of it, this is the big book. This is a big book, and for the most of it, it feels like the little bit stretching it out. But the mysteries is the thing good about this book. This book is also when uh, Voldemort, the main antagonist, comes to great power. So this is where you start, Harry starts to fight with him. Now the next book. It's the fifth book. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is the thickest book in the series. Whoa. And it is so detailed you get to know more about the magical stuff. You may think it might be boring like the fourth book, but this is awesome. Harry struggle at Hogwarts, and Dumbledore's army is literally awesome. And the prophecy, mm. and this book, pretty much good. And it total, in total, it has 800 pages. <laughs> you get to know more characters like Luna and stuff, and the you get to meet the Death Eaters, like the fourth book. I think that's it to say about this book, even though it's the biggest. Next is one of my most favorite books. The sixth book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is also having more mysteries like the fourth one, and this is where things get a little bit crazy like uh, next is the final book and this sets up the final battle and you get to know more about the character development their backstories their relationship with other characters and as usual deaths this book also has um it shows the good side of villains and the bad side of heroes which the fifth book also shows. The fifth book shows the bad side of heroes, like for Harry. And this book shows the good side of villains, like Malfoy and Snape. Like, you don't know that things in the sixth book. You know about them in the seventh book, but these things happen in the sixth book. That's it. Let's go to the next one. I think we will finally reach the end the seventh and final book, Harry Potter 
and the Deathly Hallows. I think this is the best book. So as I said, this book is not in Hogwarts. Harry and, Harry and his friends travel around the world and defeat bad guys. And finally, when they meet Voldemort, mm, you get to know they destroy Horcruxes, collect Hallows, the Elder Wand. That's where the story circulates. And the wand course, oh my god, this book is awesome. And it's the most best ending for a novel series like this. This is the best an author could do. The final battle, the Battle of Hogwarts. Amazing. That is the best novel battle I ever read. It's amazing. Like, like we think till now it's so crazy. But then you realize Harry's in a protective charm. So this is a anything. This is where things get really, 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 really crazy. Like full of dark magic as you can see in the cover. Hagrid and Harry on a motorcycle. There's so much I want to talk about in this book, but there will be spoilers if I talk about it. I think that's it for the seventh book. Next, I'm going to give the ratings for each Harry Potter book. First, the first one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I think I can give a solid 6.5. It's a good book, but not that much plot. Next one, The Chamber of Secrets, 8 out of 10. Amazing book. Next, Prisoner of Azkaban, what can I do? 8.5, very good book. Better than Chamber of Secrets. I think this has more character development and dark magic. Order of the Phoenix. Maybe 7.5. Half Blood Prince, 9. Deathly Hallows, 9.99. Hey guys, bye. This is the review of Harry Potter.